Hi there. For today's writing, I have got this picture of a farmyard. First of all, let's just have a look at what is happening within our picture. We've got a red barn with a red roof, nice lush green pasture. We've got a black and white cow behind the fence and she does not look too happy. Okay, the cow also has got a bell around her neck. In the front, there are two little chicks. Um, we've got the cheeky looking pig with a massive smile. And behind the pig, we've got a very angry looking duck. Our writing task today is to write six sentences about our picture. When you're given an activity like this, it's really important to have a good look at the picture and see what is going on. Within our picture, we have lots of animals showing emotions. So we can use those emotions to write some descriptive sentences. My first sentence is going to be about our very angry looking duck. So, the crazy duck is feeling angry as the bright pink pig ate his food along with hers. First sentence. So we've got some really good describing words within the sentence. Let's read the sentence and we're going to put a circle around the describing words we have used. The crazy duck is feeling angry as the bright pink pig ate his food along with hers. That's probably why the pig is so happy because she's very, very full. Okay. Crazy is a describing word and a duck does look a bit crazy in the picture. The crazy duck is feeling angry. Angry is another describing word. As the bright, bright is another describing word. Bright pink, another describing word because it tells us the colour. Pink ate his food along with hers. Sentence number two. I'm going to write something about the pig. The sly, because I think she's sneaky. The sly pink pig is feeling happy and full as she ate two meals. The sly pink pig is feeling happy and full as she ate two meals. Okay, let's find the describing words and put circles around them. The sly, sly means sneaky. Pink. It's a colour, it's a describing word. Pig is feeling happy. It's an emotion, it's a describing word. And full, full is another describing word. As she ate two meals. In this sentence, we've got four describing words. Let's have a look at the little chicks. And let's think of a sentence of what the chicks might be doing. Chicks might be scratching in the ground for some worms. Let's write that as a sentence. The little yellow chicks are scratching 
the hard ground for worms. The little yellow chicks are scratching the hard ground for worms. I'm going to read it again and see if you can count how many describing words there are within this sentence. The little yellow chicks are scratching the hard ground for worms. How many did you find? The little, little's one. Yellow is another one. Chicks are scratching. Scratching is a doing word. The hard ground for worms. We've got four describing words again within this sentence. Right, let's have a look at the cow now. Let's look at her face. She's not looking very happy. So we need to make up a sentence as why she might not be feeling very happy. I think it might be the bell. It could be a little bit annoying. So I'm going to write that as a sentence. The milking cow is feeling annoyed as the huge bell bangs each time she moves. I'm going to read it and see how many describing words you can find. The milky cow is feeling annoyed as the huge bells Oh, done a mistake there. This is why we proofread. I've put, is feeling annoyed as the huge bells. It should be bell, so it makes sense. So, cow is feeling annoyed as the huge bell bangs. Let's rub that S out. Always remember to proofread because you never know when you're going to make a mistake. So, Feeling annoyed as the huge bell bangs each time she moves. Our describing words are milking. We haven't just said the cow, we've added in milking to describe what kind of cow we might have in our picture. The milking cow is feeling annoyed. Annoyed is another emotion. As the huge Huge is a describing word because it tells us how big the bell is. The huge bell bangs. Bangs is another one. As the bell is moving. Bangs each time she moves. So, <laughs> again, we've got four describing words in this sentence, which is just a fluke. We have written about the duck the pig, the cow, and the chicks. We still need to write two more sentences. So we need to have another look at our picture and see what else could be happening. One of the little chicks is going over to the duck. We could write about that. The little chick is going to the white duck to see if he needs, what could we put at the end? Needs food, needs a drink, needs a hug. What should we put? Maybe we've got needs a hug. A hug might make the duck feel better. Now it's time to read and circle our describing words. The little 
chick is going to the white duck to see if he needs a hug. This sentence has got two describing words. Final sentence. We need to have a look at our picture and see if we can think of one more sentence that we can write about. I'm going to go back to the cow. She might be feeling a bit full because she ate too much grass. The blue collar could be a little bit too tight around her neck. She could be waiting for the farmer to come and loosen it or take it off for the day. Or maybe we, there's actually another fence behind there and she's waiting for the farmer to let her in to eat some more grass. Who knows? I'm going to write that the cow is feeling full because she ate too much grass. I'm being a bit sneaky and I wrote the sentence while the camera was off. Here is my sentence. The cow is feeling full as she ate too much lush grass. Let's circle our describing words. The cow is feeling full. Full is a describing word. As she ate too much lush grass. This is now your turn to have a go at writing your own six sentences using describing words with this picture of three little monkeys. Remember what we did for the barnyard picture? We talked about what was happening within it. So have a look at the monkeys. The red one's swinging. The orange one is also swinging. And the purple one seems to be hugging the branch. There could be something hidden within the top of the tree. There could be somebody coming. It's now your turn to look at this picture and write six describing sentences. Remember to add in some interesting describing words and to proofread your sentences so that they make sense.